This video has been made possible by our sponsor Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Creative Process. Today we're going to be working on another concept of poster design. We'll look at how to add this color effect to an image. We'll give a nice grating color to the image. We'll also add some water drops effect and apply some cool color. We have used very simple techniques that can be applied to any other images. So let's begin with the designing process. Open a new Photoshop document. Give it a landscape look. Now this is the hand image we're going to use for our design. But before we drag into our main document, let's remove the background color. To do that, first double click to unlock the layer. Then take a copy of the layer using the shortcut Command or Control J. After that, press Command or Control L to open the level attribute panel. Here, decrease the brightness using the sliders and give it a little contrast. Then click OK. Now, using the quick selection tool, start selecting the hand. Then press Alt key to subtract a selected region. Once you have properly selected the hand region, select the lower layer and press Command or Ctrl J. It will make a copy of only the selected region in a new layer. After that, hide off the remaining layers and select only the hand layers. Then select the image and drag and drop it to the main document. Press Command or Ctrl T to activate the transform option. Scale up the size and place it at a corner. After that, open the level panel and decrease some brightness. Now we'll give a gradient color shades to the hand image. To do that, add a gradient map adjustment layer on top. Click on gradient map to open the gradient editor. Here, double click on the first slider and apply blue color using the color code. Next, click here to add a new slider. For this, let's apply dark gray color using the color picker option. In the same way, we'll add another slider. Give it a pink color using the color code. Add one more slider and apply violet color. Now, edge the color sliders to give a nice gradient shades to the image. And then click OK. Next, select the adjustment layer, right click and apply make clipping mask. This will clip the adjustment layer to the image layer. Now double click on the layer to open the gradient map panel. Here we can keep on adjusting the sliders until you get a nice look. After that, add a new curve adjustment layer. Edge the curves to add a little darkness. Next make a copy of the hand layer and place it on top. Then click on the thumbnail to make a selection. Now open the color picker panel and choose dark gray color. Then press enter to delete the image. Now using the soft brush tool, start adding shadows on the edges of the hands. Reduce the opacity of the brush to give it a soft shadow. Once you are done, let's again clip the adjustment layer to the image. Now let's add a rough background for a while. We'll be working on the background in details at the end, so let's use this for a while. Next, we'll add some water drops effect on the hand. So here we got an image. Let's unlock the layer. Now to remove the background, selecting the layer, go to menu and choose color range. Click on the background blue color and increase the fuzziness to select the blue color area. Then click OK. This will make a selection. Now delete all the background. And using the eraser tool, erase out the bottle part. Next, drag and drop the water image to our main document. Here, once again, let's erase out the edges a little bit. Then, activate the transform option. Now under transform attributes, change the width to negative. This will flip the image. Next, scale up the size. Rotate the angle and place it along the fingers. Now take the eraser tool and erase the portion covering the finger. After that, go to the adjustment layer and add a new gradient map adjustment layer. Open the gradient editor and change the first slider color to blue 
using the color code. Then open the second slider color picker and apply magenta dark color. After that, clip it to the water drops layer. We'll do a little more adjustments with the gradient color. Make the color a little darker. And add one more slider in the middle. For this, pick a dark color using the color picker. Then edit the color sliders to add more highlights to the water drops. Next, select the layer and the gradient map and group them up. Then create a copy of the group and merge the copied group by pressing Command or Control E. We'll take the rectangular marker tool and select some portion of the water. Then press Command or Control J to create a copy and place it at the lower region. Rotate it and adjust it according to the hand. Create one more copy of the image with the Alt pressed and place it around here. Use the eraser tool to erase out the unwanted region. After that, select the pan tool and draw out a path around the water drops. Then press enter. This will make a selection. Now activate the transform option and scale up the size. Move them a little bit on the left side. Next, we'll add a title to the design. So press T to activate a text tool. Type our text. Reduce the size and apply a nice font. Let's change the color. So pick the color from the background using the eyedropper. Next, double click on the text layer and apply stroke on the layer star panel. Choose the same color for the stroke as well using the eyedropper. And reduce the stroke size to 8 pixel and click OK. Then reduce the fill value to 0%. This will add a nice effect to the text. Next here, we can see that there is a white stroke line on the edges of the hand. So to delete that, let's delete out the shadow layer. Then to remove the red strokes, first select the hand layer and convert it into a smart object. Now with the control pressed, click on the thumbnail to make a selection. Then apply mask to it. Next go to the properties and click on mask edge. In that panel, edge the shift edge around minus 36, smooth around 40 and the contrast around 20 and click OK. Now we can see that there is a clean edges of the hand merging with the background. Now select the curves and do some final adjustment. Now let's give a nice background to the design. So first let's hide out the background brush strokes layer. Then take a new layer and using the rectangle tool create out a rectangle in the background. Now open the fill color. Here choose gradient color if it's not applied. Then double click on the first color slider and apply the magenta color. For the second slider choose dark violet color from the design. After that edge the gradient angle Edge the angle manually to give a diagonal look. Next, move the second slider toward the middle and add on the slider. Let's apply dark faded magenta color for this. Then add one more slider and apply dark violet color for this. Edge the sliders to give a depth to the design. Let's add some more darkness to the background. Apply some purple color with soft brush tool on new layer. Then change the blend mode to multiply. After that, reduce the fill value a little bit. And here we got a nice background to our design. You can do some more final adjustment with the text and the colors to give an effective look. Finally, we have completed creating a poster design. During the process, we have used some options which have reduced our workflow. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'd like to thank Squarespace for supporting the channel. It's an all-in-one platform where you can go and create a beautiful website. They have got this really easy to use platform. They have got designers template, domains and really good customer service 24-7. You can easily open online stores that allow you to manage your products, orders and inventory easily. If you want to try it out, go to squarespace.com slash create and process to save 10% of your first purchase and make your business stand out with Squarespace. Thanks for listening guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. See you in the next episode.